Now, there was a town hall on CNN yesterday. A lot of controversy surrounding this town hall. Hillary, among other things, said she didn't do anything wrong with her email again. But uh, some very interesting things took place, raising a lot of questions. Ari Fleischer, an expert in all this, will join us. Uh, but first, let's sit back and watch uh, a piece of that town hall. I don't like her. Uh, she doesn't treat me fairly. I'm not a big fan of hers at all. I don't care. I mean, she was, she probably was, the, I might be the best thing that ever happened to her. I don't know, because no, whoever even heard of her before the last debate. But I thought she was very unfair in the last debate. A lot of people said I won that debate. Everybody said I won the last debate. Uh, but I'm not a fan of Megyn Kelly. I don't like her. She probably doesn't like me, and that's okay. But she better be fair. Uh, I'd like to go to the debate. I enjoy the debates. I've done well in the debates. Every single poll has said I've won every debate. But uh, we're going to see what happens. It's going to be exciting. All right. It's, that's going to be exciting. That's for sure. And joining us now, Ari Fleischer, former White House spokesman for President George W. Bush and president of Fleischer Sports. Ari, welcome. So, I mean, I don't think there's any doubt that Donald Trump's going to go to the debate, but do you think the strategy here is to try to psych Megyn Kelly out somehow? Well, it's, he's such a promoter, isn't he? It's going to be a very exciting debate. You know, he, he is so good at this business about playing the things that really don't matter in this business. And then he just has excelled at it. But, you know, I think he's working the umpire a little bit, and I think he was legitimately aggrieved with, with Megan's performance in the first debate. I didn't see it. He did. So let him make his case. Yeah, well, uh, but you think he'll show up? Oh, of course he will. And, and do you think Megan will back off at all? No, I think anybody who knows Megyn Kelly knows how tough and independent-minded she is, and she will do her job as a journalist in this debate, identical to the way she did in the last debate, which means she'll throw hard and fast, but she'll throw over the plate, not at anybody's head. Gee, too bad you don't know sports. I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, let, let, let's move on and uh, talk a little bit about the fact that uh, the new polls all show that you know, Donald Trump, uh, over 40% in the CNN poll nationally. New Hampshire, Iowa, I know one Iowa poll shows that he's, he, you know, cruises even with him, but most of them show Trump ahead. Evangelicals. He gets the, uh, the, the endorsement today of Jerry Falwell Jr. Evangelical support, he leads Cruz 37-20. Who's going to stop him? Look, here's what I find so fascinating about this election. It, it, it's really been a test of who are Republicans. For years, the assumption was Republicans have a conservative base, and, uh, and that, that base is what's activist base. What you're really seeing in this cycle is you have a throw everybody out, nobody knows what they're doing, try somebody new base. That is much less attached to powerful ideology than previously thought. That's why Trump is doing so well. And Republicans who thought we're the conservative party in America... Uh, if Trump wins, we will no longer be the conservative party in America. There will be a conservative movement that got beat by a very nimble and flexible populist movement whose principles are, are rather evolving. So, so when he said today on Morning Joe that he, uh, you know, he, 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 where he could work with Nancy Pelosi, he likes Nancy Pelosi. Harry Reid, he likes Harry Reid. And Chuck Schumer, he has, he has a lot in common with Chuck Schumer. Uh, that, that, you, you think that that's the actual, actual truth? Well, I do think that's the truth. I don't think that's unique to a person like Donald Trump. I worked for Chairman of the Ways and Means Committee, Bill Archer, a very conservative man from Houston, Texas, who also could work with people, because there was an era when the most conservative and the most liberal somehow still could work with each other. Ted Cruz does not represent that era. But I do think at the end of the day, if you want to get anything done in Washington, you have to be able to work with people, even people with the po from the opposing party. That is important. But that's not the bigger issue here. The bigger issue here is that... Trump is going to, if he wins, defeat the conservative base of the Republican Party. He is not and will never be a conservative nominee. He'll be a populist one. Yeah. All right. Let me let me let you hear something that happened at the town hall meeting at CNN. You're the expert here in media, uh, so I want to know from you what you think if this whole thing was fixed. Listen to the question asked by this young man to Hillary. Go. Got another question for you. Brett Rosengren, he's from Logan, Iowa, is going to school, works as a supervisor for a janitorial company, says he's undecided, has a question. Great. Uh, Secretary San or Clinton, That's sorry. Okay. <laughs> I can see why they gave you this question. I just wanted to know which of our previous presidents has inspired you most and why. I could see why they gave you this question. What does that mean? <laughs> 
goodness, I don't know. Um, you know, I like the questioner where the young person stood up and talked about how young people can't trust you. Right, yeah. And if you saw her face on that one, it was very telling. Yes. Um, you know, I, look, I, I don't know. It was, uh, Does I don't it lead you to believe that they were giving out the questions? Don't. I think that just sometimes people ask questions as fans and, and as acolytes. That's what they do. They get in as well. Cynics get in and fans get in. Right. Um, so you don't you do you do you have we got thirty seconds? Do you believe that this could have been a situation where CNN gave them a card and said, "Ask this question to Hillary. Ask this question to Sanders." I don't. No. You know, I used to be a CNN contributor, and as much as CNN is a somewhat liberal network, I never saw evidence directly like that. No. So you don't think the fix was in? I do not. All right, Ari. We don't. We're all rooting for Peyton Manning. Hopefully, we'll talk before that and after that, and we'll have a, a great st a story to tell as uh, Peyton Manning wins the Super Bowl. But that's two weeks away. Thank you, my friend, Ari Fleischer, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.